Hello everyone, welcome to EKDA platform and this is Ramin Jangit here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the planning of HVDC transmission system. How we have uh, started to use the HVDC transmission and what are the important parameters which are related for uh, this planning HVDC transmission. <music> For the specifications and the designing, specifications and designing. So we need to remember that the interconnection, interconnection, interconnection in power system lines. Okay. So these interconnections may be a type of your AC or a DC. So that I'm going to talk about. It may be a type of AC or it may be type of DC. Okay. Now, as we are talking about the HVDC transmission, na? HVDC transmission. So in the HVDC transmission, if there is a interruption, interruption or you can say the reduction or reduction in power flow power flow so there may be a chances there may be two chances first is your dc line fault and second may be a chance of ac system fault so that you have to remember okay let us suppose there uh, the fault has been occurred okay the fault has been occurred then there are the some uh, circuit breakers or uh, you can say the devices which can which can recover your or you, you can say the recovery voltage can be done here but that recovery voltage should be fast okay that i am going to talk about now that recovery voltage from transients one thing the transients if i'm from transients uh, what is its mean actually the power system contains the inductor last number of inductors and the last number of capacitors so lc circuit due to this lc circuit the oscillations can be seen and these causes the transients and transients actually are the high frequency transients so that's why i'm writing and uh, this you can uh, you can see in the circuit breaker there are there is arc and there is a arc interruption okay there you have already seen i think that uh, the recovery recovery voltage restriking voltage okay so the, there are the some transient terms uh, which we have already studied about that so that is uh, the recovery voltage from transient transients in DC line fault DC line fault and it should be fast should be fast why so that integrity of the system the word is important integrity of system can be maintained can be maintained Okay, now we are moving for the next point. Now for the next point, if I'm talking about the speed of recovery, speed of recovery for any fault has occurred, it should be fast, controllable, and also the reliable. okay now next point the optimum optimum rate of increase optimum rate of increase in the dc power can be determined by determined by the stability study stability stability 
study okay so that you have to remember in this now next point i am going to add here okay now if you talk about the aspects okay there are the following aspects there are the following aspects which support the interaction study okay uh, you can say the specific and design study so the first point is related with the var var's requirements requirements of the converter converter stations converter stations and voltage study next the second point is related with dynamic over voltages okay the third point i can write the harmonics and filtration and this uh, filtration or uh, you can say the filter or dc type one second one second dc type filter and ac type filter the fourth and the important one okay the damping of damping of low frequency oscillations low frequency of oscillations okay and <clears throat> and sub synchronous sub synchronous torsional 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 uh, you can say the oscillations okay so these are the some important points uh, up to which we have discussed the last notable points which i am going to uh, taught you here the last the point is now the converter control converter control plays the important role plays important role okay plays important role if i talk about if i talk about the interactions and the control strategies control strategies strategies okay and it should be such that it should be such that that it can improve it can improve or improvise improve the system performance system performance performance okay so these uh, points you have to remember i hope up to this you have understood okay tata bye bye thank you